Good morning. As I just said, I'm a visual artist. Usually I'm not on stages holding instruments, but I wanted to tell you a short story. A few months ago, I went for the first time to see a concert, a classical concert in a big concert hall. I don't really know why, but I was just curious for the experience, I guess. And I must say, I was, I was blown away. First by the music, but then later by thoughts. Because more and more, I started thinking about those people there on the stage, all holding objects of wood, of metal. How, how on earth does a thing like this come into existence? <laughs> I mean, it, it must have taken many, many years, but also many hands that all, they all contributed something that eventually led to a cello like this. And maybe you already saw, it, it looks a bit like, like a body. Yeah, it has a belly, it has a chest, a neck, and a head. But why? And why is it played with a bow? I mean, that's, that's also kind of weird. I'll tell you why. More than a thousand years ago, Mongolian horse riders created an instrument that somehow would resemble the horse they were riding. They created it with a body, with a neck, and then on top with a horse head. The hair of the horse became the strings, made out of horse hair at that time, and it was played with this bow also made out of horse hair. And I think they did it that way also to emphasize the strong bond that, that was there between man and animal, the rider and the horse, they almost became one, like one, one living creature. And I think that this bond still exists today between a musician and their instrument. I mean, it almost becomes an extension of their body, like a new piece of their, of their body that they have to discover over the years. But then at a time when I was at a concert, I also noticed that slowly my, my thoughts were, were becoming sharper, like my brain was at its best capacity. And you notice it already right now, the atmosphere in this room changes. My voice is maybe becoming a bit slower in another pace and it, the music opens up new thoughts, new associations, new, new ideas maybe. 